Pipe smokers, we made it. Saturday morning out in the shop. Sun coming up, coffee going down. I tell you, I'm not going to harp on any of this stuff going on because I know everybody is sick and tired of hearing it. But, you know, our own news media sources preach the shit and then they scare you to death, try to scare you, and then they're like, don't panic, don't panic, but blah, 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 blah. It's all just about a bunch of headline games is all it is to get the headline attentions for the news sources. I told my wife three weeks ago about you better stock up, get some bottled water, get some stuff that you want that you, know, you need to be, if you're going to be quarantined for a couple weeks, if something happens, blah, blah, blah. She laughed at me, thought I was crazy. Where I'm not scared of getting the virus, I'm scared of the people, how they act when something like this happens is what I'm worried about. Looting and sh people are nuts. And uh, sure as shit, first it was the toilet paper. And then I said once that, and then it's going to go to the food, it's going to go to the bottled water. She got done work yesterday and she's like, oh my God, people are fighting over toilet paper, they're fighting over water. Nothing's on the shelves, everything's gone. <clears throat> People are who you have to worry about. Because people are idiots. And just out of curiosity, I just had to look. Uh, Jif Creamy Peanut Butter. I love Jif Creamy Peanut Butter. I just had to look. eBay, $40, $50, $60 a jar. <laughs> anyway, enough with that bullshit. <clears throat> Gonna do another one today, St. Bruno Flake from McBaron. Never had it! This one has got a couple years of age on it. Select Kentucky Leaf contributes with the smoky and bold character in the blend. Bright Virginia Leaf makes the smoking experience smooth and pleasant. St. Bruno is a steam press flake tobacco, well known and loved by pipe smokers around the world. Uh, I heard this is a little bit on the strong side, I don't know, but uh, I'm pretty good at uh, nicotine as far as I know, but uh, this is early in the morning and I never eat breakfast, so we'll give her a try. Open fairly easy. Uh, huh, interesting. Just from that tin I was looking at the other day from McBaron, there's some rust on this one as well. See it up there around that corner there, and a little bit around the edges there. Can you see that? <clears throat> Not as bad as the HHL dark fire, but there's some there. <clears throat> if you haven't ever seen it before, a nice little, that's going in the garbage. Flakes look fantastic. Actually, they look a little older than what they, the age says. Nice thin flakes. Look fantastic. I smell uh, peppery, spicy, uh, smoky, almost like a barbecue. I'm definitely not picking up any of the uh, Virginias in this. <clears throat> nice looking flakes though. Look at it! Look! We're gonna let this dry out for about a half hour and we'll get back to it. And we are back. Been smoking this bowl now for about five minutes. Very smooth. Absolutely no tongue bite.
nice through the retrohale. Through the retrohale, I pick up some deep, dark fruits. That's the only way I pick up the uh, Virginias through the retrohale. Uh, dark, strong, bold. I almost, I know it's going to sound strange, I almost pick up some black licorice. <clears throat> Little bit of earth. What's something that you would expect in something like this? Again, I'm not real big on the Kentucky and Burleys and Very nice. Uh, I just have to say that uh, with some more age on this, like I said, I only had a couple years. I'm certainly not hating it. Just some of the uh, some of the tins I've been picking lately for early mornings, I think should be early evenings. <laughs> I almost went with the H&H uh, &H Bold Kentucky, I think it's called. I was going to go with that one this morning without anything to eat. And I'm like, I uh, better wait. So if I have time tomorrow, maybe I'll go ahead and do the Bold Kentucky while we're at it. I took advantage of a sale. Uh, tobacco Pipes has 10% off if you haven't seen that for uh, St. Patty's Day. I don't think you're going to see too many sales too much anymore. To me, this is another one that just seems pretty much one-dimensional, but it may change. Like I said, this is only my first bowl, and I'm not even halfway through it yet. It goes good with strong black coffee, though. Someone had asked me a couple weeks ago why I don't just go, when I'm doing my reviews, go through <clears throat> like all the HH series, all the Dunhills or Petersons or, you know, McBarrens or whatever, Samuel Goweth. And it's because I don't want the same tobaccos. I mean, you know, the, the different types, all different, depends on what I want to smoke, you know, so that's why I haven't done that. But what I do, if you haven't known, is under my videos, you go to the playlist and I have tobacco reviews and they're all under there. I think I'm up to 70 or 80 right now. I'm not exactly even sure. <laughs> Sometimes I do have to even go through to make sure I haven't reviewed the tobacco that I'm selecting for the, that week. But yeah, for me, this is something that... Uh, doesn't really wow me, but I appreciate it and I like it. I do like it. And if memory serves me right, I believe this was more on the pricey side too. Uh, I'm picking up a little bit of sweetness. Maybe a little bit of like burnt brown sugar. I'm really reaching, trying to pull something. But uh, if you like it, as usual, let me know your thoughts. I love hearing people's comments, whether you like something or you don't like something. That's why I do these. We haven't heard yet, but the Boswell meetup in April is, as of right now, not looking good. Uh, last I heard from this morning was West Virginia was the only state in the country with no confirmed cases. 
but it's just a matter of time. There, it's here. They just haven't been confirmed yet. That's all. There's two right near me, the next county over, which is less than 10 miles away in the state of Ohio. And as everywhere else in the country, all the sporting events, restaurants, stores are even starting to close. It's, it's the end of the world as we know it. <clears throat> but uh, surprisingly, one of the only things that I know that is still open that has large amounts of crowds is our local casino, of course. They can't lose out on money. I look for the health department to shut them down this week if they don't do it voluntarily. <clears throat> so we'll just have to play it by ear and see what happens if uh, Boswell's is still a go. I'm sure they'll announce something if they're going to cancel or not. I know Dion Classical Pipes texted me the other day there and told me that the Raleigh Pipe Show was canceled this weekend. That sucks. You wait all year for something and... I'm hoping the Columbus, Ohio pipe show, it's not till late August. I'm hoping we're through all this by then. It's certainly something for our uh, grandparents and the elderly to uh, definitely keep close eye on. But on a brighter note, I hope everybody has a good weekend. Yeah, for as bold and as strong as this supposedly is, it's, it's surprisingly so smooth. Like I said, I definitely just think I would enjoy this more in the evening. I said maybe I'll make another one tomorrow and I'll do that bold Kentucky and I'll get some of them stronger ones out of my way and uh, get them in the cellar, get them in jars. I've done enough rambling. I know what has been nice. I go to the local gym. I go uh, like Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays and sometimes I'll hit the weekends. And uh, <laughs> Usually there's 30, 40, 50 people in there. Yesterday there was three <laughs> Ah!